Hey y'all, cruising the coast 2015 and uh, just out here with uh, Barry Flamingo cruising around and we came across a 64 El Camino Pro Street car. I think you're all gonna like, it's got a really good look to it. Dude did it himself and uh, you know, it's a nice driver. So let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. It's got a hole in the hood, which is always cool. And it's not a high-end show car, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, I met the, uh, the dude at the mall and was talking to him. He said he did all the work himself. You know what I'm saying? He's driving it while others are back at the, uh, back in the garage still uh, putting, you know, putting work in there. So he's got his out on the street. So, but it's a cool car. You know, it's got a good look to it. Pounds the ground. Got to have a parachute, right? Cool color combination. Like I said, nah, it is over the top. But uh, it's no trailer queen. All business in here. A couple of race seats, some factory carpeting, and an automatic, and your gauges. That's what it's about, right? Just the necessities. Matt, tell me what we got going on under here. We got a Pontiac 350. It's out of a 71 uh, Pontiac Le Mans. It's kind of an unusual motor for this car, but it, it works for it. It's a eight to one compression motor, but uh, with the way I'm driving the blower at max boost, it's 11 three to one. Uh, intercooler, so it's a super chiller intercooler. Kind of helps with the, the increase of the horsepower. Right. 671 blower, two 600 uh, dual line mechanical secondary hollies. Uh, very streetable motor. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Tried to keep it that way so I could drive it on the street and run pump gas. It's a fun car to drive around and and it's more reliable than a high the higher horsepower cars. Did you ever dyno it? I have not dynoed it, but, but BDS give me there when I was buying the uh, intercooler. They estimated the horsepower right at 500 with the intercooler. Cool. And was there a difference in the Pontiac 350 and the Chevrolet 350? There's a difference in the motor. You know, right. the bore and strokes a little bit different, but the motor come with the car. Right. And I started building on that motor. And I just got too much. So you kind of did this as you could. I did, yeah. So it was a low budget build. Right on. I've got too much money in that motor to swap <laughs> to a Chevrolet motor. Right, right. Yeah. But it, but it's a fun car and it gets a whole lot of attention. It sure does. I saw it coming through the mall last night, man. Everybody was looking at it. Yeah, it's sweet. It's fun. So there you go. What I say, a 64 El Camino Pro Street from Cruising the Coast 2015. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.